You may have heard of the green flash from the sun, which sometimes appears at sunset or sunrise. But did you know that it can also happen with other planets, such as Venus? In this video, I will show you a stunning image of a green flash from Venus, captured by a photographer in Sweden earlier this year. This image is one of the best ever taken of this elusive event, and it reveals a lot about the nature and mystery of our sister planet. I will also explain how the green flash happens, why it is important for science and culture, and how you can try to see it yourself. So, if you are curious about the wonders of our solar system, and you want to learn more about this amazing phenomenon, stay tuned and watch this video until the end. You will not regret it. The green flash from Venus is a very rare and difficult phenomenon to observe and capture. It requires a combination of factors that are not easy to find. Let me tell you how it happened in this case. The image I'm going to show you was taken by Peter Rosen, a photographer and astronomer from Stockholm, Sweden, on January 8, 2024. He was trying to photograph Venus and the moon rising over the city skyline when he noticed something unusual. He saw that Venus was emitting a bright green light, like a flash, for a fraction of a second. He was lucky enough to have his camera ready and to press the shutter button at the right moment. He said it was a magnificent sight and that he was very excited to witness it. But what caused this green flash? Well, it has to do with the way the light from Venus travels through the Earth's atmosphere. As you may know, the atmosphere is composed of different layers of air, with different temperatures and densities. When the light from a celestial object passes through these layers, it is bent, or refracted, by different amounts, depending on the wavelength. This means that the light is split into different colors, like a rainbow. The green segment of the spectrum is usually the most refracted, and therefore the most visible, when the object is very low on the horizon, either before sunrise or after sunset. This is when the atmosphere acts like a prism and amplifies the green light for a brief moment. However, this is not enough to explain this phenomenon. Venus is much smaller and fainter than the sun, and it is not easy to see it with the naked eye, let alone with a green flash. To see it, you need a high magnification setup, such as a telescope or a high-speed camera, and a clear and calm sky. You also need the planet to be at a very low altitude, less than one degree above the horizon, and to have a sharp temperature gradient in the air, creating a strong refraction. All these conditions are very rare and hard to find, and that's why the green flash from Venus is so elusive and special. Rosen was able to capture this event because he had all these factors in his favor. He used a Canon EOS R5 camera with a 600mm lens and a 2x teleconverter, giving him a focal length of 1200mm. He also used a tripod and a remote shutter release to avoid any vibration. He set his camera to shoot at 20 frames per second with an exposure time of 1 over 8,000 of a second and an ISO of 3200. He also used a custom white balance to correct the color of the image. He said he had to adjust his focus and framing constantly, as Venus was moving very fast across the sky. Moreover, he had to deal with the cold weather, as it was minus 10 degrees Celsius that night. But his efforts paid off, as he managed to get a clear and sharp image of the planet with a beautiful green flash. Here is the image he took. Isn't it amazing? You can see the crescent shape of Venus and the bright green light around it. You can also see some stars in the background and the city lights below. This image is a masterpiece of astrophotography and a rare glimpse of a phenomenon that few people have ever seen. But you may be wondering, why is this so important? And what does it tell us about the planet and the solar system? First of all, the green flash from Venus can help us study the atmospheric properties of the planet. As you may know, Venus has a very thick and dense atmosphere, composed mainly of carbon dioxide, with traces of nitrogen, sulfur dioxide, and other gases. It also has a very high surface pressure, about 92 times that of Earth, and a very high surface temperature, about 460 degrees Celsius. These conditions make Venus a very hostile and inhospitable place, and also very difficult to explore. However, by observing the green flash from Venus, 
We can learn more about the upper layers of its atmosphere, where the refraction occurs. We can measure the temperature, pressure, density, and composition of these layers, and compare them with the lower layers. We can also look for any variations or changes in these parameters over time, and see how they affect the planet's climate and weather. By doing this, we can gain a better understanding of Venus, and also of other planets with similar atmospheres, such as Mars or Titan. Secondly, the green flash from Venus can provide clues about the possibility of life on the planet. As you may know, Venus is often called the sister planet of Earth because they are similar in size, mass, and distance from the Sun. However, they have very different histories and environments, and Venus is considered to be a barren and lifeless world. But is that really the case? Some scientists have speculated that there may be some forms of life in the upper layers of Venus's atmosphere, where the temperature and pressure are more moderate, and where there may be some water vapor and organic molecules. These hypothetical life forms could be microscopic, floating in the clouds, and using sunlight as an energy source. They could also produce some biosignatures, such as oxygen, methane, or phosphine, that could be detected by spectroscopy. So these kind of images could be a way to test this hypothesis by looking for any signs of these biosignatures in the refracted light. If we find any evidence of life on Venus, it would be a huge discovery, and it would change our view of the planet and the solar system. It would also raise new questions about the origin and evolution of life, and the possibility of finding it elsewhere in the universe. Now that you know more about the green flash from Venus, you may be wondering, how can you see it yourself? Well, it is not easy, but it is not impossible either. You just need to follow some tips and advice, and to have some patience, luck, and skill. The first thing you need to do is to find out when and where Venus is visible in the sky. You can use an online tool, such as Stellarium or Sky Safari, to check the position and altitude of the planet and to plan your observation. You need to look for Venus when it is very low on the horizon, either before sunrise or after sunset, depending on the season and your location. You also need to find a place with a clear and unobstructed view of the horizon, such as a hill, a mountain, or a coast. The second thing you need to do is to prepare your equipment. You need a high magnification setup, such as a telescope or a high-speed camera, with a tripod and a remote shutter release. You also need a filter, such as a neutral density or a polarizing filter, to reduce the brightness of the planet and to enhance the contrast of the colors. You also need to adjust your focus and exposure settings, depending on the conditions of the sky and the planet. The third thing you need to do is to wait for the right moment. You need to be patient and attentive, as the green flash from Venus can happen very quickly and unpredictably. You need to watch the planet carefully as it rises or sets and look for any changes in its color or shape. You need to be ready to capture the image as soon as you see the green flash. You may need to try several times on different days before you succeed. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting about the solar system and the phenomenon of the green flash. I hope you have also felt some curiosity and wonder about the planet Venus and its secrets and mysteries. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep looking up.